Hi, and welcome to the Low Level Devil Channel. In this Linux systems programming video series, I'm going to be going into detail on some of the shared functions that I create for other video series. Many of these are going to be used in the Linux distribution from scratch series, and maybe some others as well. But uh, I'm taking these functions out into individual units to make the videos smaller and uh, usable by other projects. So in this specific video, I'm going to show you how to copy files and directories in C. So let's get started. All right, first I'm just copying some of these headers in. You can uh, just take a look at them to see which specific ones you need. And another thing I actually need to do here is add this define uh, underscore x open source to 500. And that allows us to use this uh, FTW features. Um, uh, there's a specific API that allows us to traverse and walk through uh, through the directories. So I'm creating this initial f uh, function here called copy dir contents, and it's essentially going to take the contents of path and copy them into the two locations. So it's like path slash star into two slash. So, but not actually copying the path base as well. And this is something you kind of, kind of do pretty often. But uh, I'm creating a utility function for it here. All right. So to start out with, first thing we need to do is create a return value, which I'm going to make a call to nftw, and that takes the directory, which we're going to have path a function to process press, process it, which I'm calling CP callback. The maximum number of file descriptors I'm using 64, and FTW fizz I'm using for this parameter. That it doesn't follow symbolic links; it just does physical files and directories, because that's all I need. All right, so now I want to actually implement this CP callback function. So CP callback. So it takes a, a certain uh, a certain defined uh, structure here. So the very first field is a constant char file path, then a struct uh, pointer S to a stat pointer, uh, type flag, and then this FTW buffer. And that's just defined by the API. Now one drawback of this nftw function is that you can't pass a void pointer in to pass things into your callback function. So I have to create some static uh, variables here. I want to be able to access the from and to paths. And because of that, I need to make sure you can only call this once. So I'm just going to create another static bool called copy busy. So it'll fail if uh, if you're already calling the function so it's not multi-threaded all right so if coffee is busy then I want to essentially error out and that returns uh, let's make it return a bool instead and I'll return ret equals zero there you go okay so now if copy is busy I'll just f print f and to std error I'll say the copy is busy. So that's one drawback using this. You can't use multiple threads without at least a simple design like this. Okay, and so then we'll say copy busy equals true. Before we call it, set the path, to the to path, and the from path. And then after we're, our function call is over, then copy busy is equals false. So that does it for that side of it. So the most of the guts is going to be in our callback function. So first, let's create a two location. I'm just going to use 1024 as the size of it. So I'm going to S print F s slash percent s and so for the first half of this is going to be our uh, 
let's see, copy to path. So that's going to path we're copying to. And then the file path plus the length of the from path. Hope that makes sense to you. So we're, we're using a little bit of a pointer arithmetic here. So we want to start the string at the end of the uh, copy path plus one extra character for the slash. So now this section is going to be if the type flag contains the flag ftwd, then it's a directory. So we'll need to create it. So now this ftbuff has a level. If level that shows you how far in depth you are. So if the level is equal to zero, that means it's actually that root path folder, which we don't want to create. So I don't want to create that folder inside of it as well. So what I'm going to do is just return zero, which essentially just says keep processing. As long as you return a zero, then then it keeps going through its uh, directory traversal. So otherwise, I'm going to make that directory of two location, and I'll give it 0775. So if that fails, I'll just print out the error, fail to create directory. And then I'll return a negative one, because if you return a non-zero, that'll stop its processing. and That'll be the return value of the function, essentially. Yeah, the NTFW will return that value. So now if it's not a directory, so we'll say else, well, if if not copy file, is we're going to create a function called copy file where we take a source and a, a destination, then that's going to return an error as well. Otherwise, we'll return zero. So we now we need to create this copy file. That's going to be a separate utility function that I'll just create right up here. So to start with, I'm going to make it a bowl because. Uh, make it a simple interface. It's going to take a const char from and then a char to. Maybe make that const or... Yeah, I don't think I want to make that const. Alright, so uh, so the first thing we're going to do is create a file object. I'm calling it ff from file from we're going to try to open that from file in read mode. So if that fails, then we'll just print out a error, can't open the source file. And we'll return false. So now we'll create the next one, ft for file2. And now we want to open the to file in write mode. So if not FT, then we'll print the error, can't open dest file, return false. So otherwise, now we want to actually, we got them both open, so we want to start copying them. I'm going to use a 4K buffer, you can make it really whatever size you want. Larger is going to be faster, of course. So size t r equals zero. So that's going to be the amount of bytes read. So r equals f read the buffer one, and then the size of buffer, and then the ff file from stream. So so while we're reading, we want to just call f write to write to that ft file. And we'll write the same data buffer one, but this time R, which is the number of bytes that it read, and then FT. Okay, and then we want to close both of these files. We want to close this one too, F close FF. So if file two has failed, then we want to make sure we close that one as well. All right, so now we're returning true at the end, and that's pretty much all that there is to this um, 
can create a little main function that will test it out for us. Alright, so let's see. I'll just go just call this uh, test the functions in main. Let's see. We'll return copy copy dear contents. We'll copy the directory A into directory B, the contents of A into B. So if we look here, I have a directory A, which has a file 1, then it has a subdirectory B, which has a subdirectory C that has a file 2, and a subdirectory D, which has a file 3. So I put multiple layers in there just to make sure it goes through all different layers. So you can see A1, ABC2, and ABCD3 all have different contents. So now I'm going to make the directory B. That's where we're going to copy this stuff to. So again, there's the contents of A. So now if I just run GCC to build that, and that's going to create an A.out file. So if I run the A.out, now I can say find B, and there's the contents of B. It's the same directory structure, cat B1, cat BBC2, and cat BBCD3, 3.txt. And those are the same file contents. So that's pretty much it for this video. It's mainly just to show you how to copy uh, file and directory data and and uh, you know be able to do it recursively. So um, this is this function is actually going to be used in the uh, Linux distribution from scratch series. So when when that video comes out, I'm not going to go into detail on this function. I'm just going to copy and paste it and refer to the video if you want to see the details of it. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. And uh, please, uh, if you if you do like this, share it with your friends. Share it where you can. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that. And thanks for watching.